Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. This is going to be a quick tutorial video. At least, this is what I think, this is my opinion. Uh, obviously you can have your own and uh, you might have a different method to me, but uh, some new people in the game might not know this. And honestly, it did take me a while to figure it out when I first came across these things. So, I'm um, just trying to help you guys out. If you guys didn't know, this here can be harvested with a uh, shovel. You get a cobble out of it. And if there was a few friends of mine who didn't actually know that, they would just skip it and leave it. And some of them would just use this instead, and you get a lot less. It's much better to use your shovel for that. And it's not just this one, it is the bricks as well. I think it's called a uh, pallet. Um, all these things give you something. So this one gives you stone. Um, let me just show you guys quickly. So this one and this one. So this one you use an axe with. This one gives you more stones. As you guys can see, it gives you quite a quite a fair amount, so it's kind of worth actually mining these things. Definitely worth it, I think. And you get like 50 stones from one. This one should give you cement if you use a shovel on it. There you go, 44 cement. So if you come across these, I highly recommend you loot them all. Grab them all because at the end it all adds up. And uh, for me, if you didn't really want to craft it, because you can craft cobble, you need uh, clay and stone. So if you go cobble, you can craft it here. So you see, it is quite a lot. It does take quite a lot. And it does take a long time to craft, as you guys can see. So you're going to sit and wait and wait. And you have to obviously harvest the stone and the clay. But if you're going to go looting anyway, it's pretty good to loot these things. So this location I'm going to show you is pretty good to get a lot really quickly. It can be a little bit unsafe, so bring some protection. You know, bring your girlfriend along or your wife, because they are great protectors. I, I, I Trust me, 100% reach approved, I told you. <laughs> um, but uh, you need some frames, so just go up to this window on the side. I will give you the coordinates. This is Navscan, so there are the coordinates on screen. If you want to come up to uh, this place. This is the Shamway Food Factory. Don't take the path because you're probably going to die on day one. If you want to do this on day one, come here quickly. Day two, day three, whatever. Go up to about this window here and you can just break it open. Jump across. And then this room is packed with it. There's just, they everywhere. And I think this room and there's another room on the other side as well is pretty good. But you will have to kill the zombies. So uh, let me just do that quickly. So there you have it, you have a whole room, uh, just watch out though, I, it's not going to be as easy as I made it look, I'm not too sure why these zombies aren't getting up to attack me, but they usually when you shoot a gun they all get up and start attacking you, maybe my character's glitched out with something, I have admin on so that could be a, a reason for that, but there you go, you can go and harvest all this inside here, let me go down here quickly, make sure you have some frames to get out as well, and there are some traps like that so watch out, but there's just tons in here, there's just Loads. You'll have a blast, man. Oh. So there is another room I'm going to go around now and show you. You cannot break out of here because of the bars. If you want to go hitting on them, it'll take you a while. So just to get out is to come here by this thing. Uh, put your frame down. And just go right up like this. So you can walk out and you can just take your frames down like that. Then what you want to do is go around to the other side of the building quickly. I think it's on this side if I remember correctly. I will show you another location where you can get some more as well. Most of the houses and the POIs in the game, there is there is loads. So if you just go around looting normal houses and stuff, you will find them as well. But this is just a, a larger abundance of it to get it quickly. Watch out for the landmines as well. That can get pretty bad. So what you want to do is you want to go up on this side. If I can remember now. <laughs> I suppose I should have checked. Uh, oh, uh oh. You don't want that to happen as well. Let's go up another one. So there you go. Break that open. And then you have another room. I don't know why these zombies aren't actually waking up to me. It's a bit strange to be honest. But uh, they will definitely be fighting you. So watch out guys. Watch out. So then you have uh, the whole lot up there. Some over here. Some down here. There's just everywhere guys. So here you go. 
There is the location, guys. I'll just show you the coordinates one more time. There you go. Okay, so here is another location which is by far the easiest thing you're going to come across. So when you're nav scan, you want to come down to these coordinates. This is in Dyersville, and this one is very easy, but watch out because there is a trick to this. And if you make a mistake, you're going to get eaten by a bear. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Got to, got to look at, give you guys notice. So you do have um, the other ones as well, which is the cement. And there's a bunch of cobble around, which is cement cobble mixed together. So you get uh, a mix of both worlds here. It's usually quite safe. I have, you know, it's like one zombie over there. It's it's pretty safe. They, they, they kind of made this POI look pretty safe, but it's not that safe. Watch out. I don't know why these zombies aren't waking up to me. Game's all glitched out. Okay, so there you go. You got all this area. You can, all you have to do is kill one or two zombies, and then you get all this. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to go down there because there is actually a bear down here. If you want to get the end loot, the end game loot, well, that's what you're getting, and I don't think it's actually worth it because, yeah, not much is there. But uh, there you go, guys. There is that. It's quick, easy. Jump in, grab it, and then you can move on. So here is another quick location I wanted to add just before I finish the video. This one is not too bad as well. It's fairly easy. This one is in Navsganic as well. Uh, there are the coordinates you want to come check it out. Uh, the barn is, has some decent amounts and you won't have too much resistance here. There's a couple of zombies in here, but not too bad. It's quite worth the loot. You guys can see there's a few bags up here. And the house as well has quite a bit as well. If you go under the uh, the basement here, there is quite a bit to go and loot. I think upstairs there might be uh, some more as well. Let me just take a look. Yeah, you go in, inside the roof. So yeah, they are some of the good spots to get yourself some cobblestone. If you guys disagree with that, well, let me know in the comments. If you guys have any, any better locations, let me know in the comments and I'll add them in a future video maybe. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.